All right, so we have some exciting news out of Kennywood, and um, I was not expecting this. I don't know if you were expecting this, but this is phenomenal for a family park. So I'm going to dive in deep um, to this, I guess we can call it a teaser campaign starting, and I think it's quite a brilliant teaser campaign um, in that matter as well, and uh, I love the idea and the concept of it. So I'm going to go over what I think of this whole project, and... Um, Feel free to comment down below if you have a, a differing point of view and to correct anything that I may get wrong on Kennywood. Um, so we'll go right into it. So they started this teaser campaign. It's almost like a scratch card and we have 197 revealed. I do not think this is the height. I don't think Kennywood's gonna dive in deep and right off the bat get a 197 foot tall um, coaster. And I don't think they would reveal the height for the first teaser campaign. They're a family friendly park and I'm kind of starting to think that 197 may be the number of footers for this attraction. I typed in 197 days from now and it came to December 22nd. Um, so I don't think that was it, like 197 days to opening or something like that. I think it's probably 197 footers. Um, I don't think it's track length. I don't think it's anything like that. I think it's one of the smaller details of the ride. So I'm assuming either 197 footers just because um, if you think about it, a lot of those larger, longer coasters, that actually adds up to about that number. And it does look like a fairly long coaster from what I'm seeing. So I looked at the construction site in depth. I've been looking and analyzing at the construction site for about two days now. Um, it is a lot longer than I uh, was anticipating because I was thinking originally um, maybe a steeplechase because that, that seemed to be the most popular rumor going around. Um, and then I thought, do you think they would really get a steeplechase? They're a family-friendly park, so it wouldn't be, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, but the biggest rumor is a steeplechase. And I'm thinking either, you know, there's a, a coaster that a lot of people may be leaving out here. They're very popular in orders for family parks lately as well, and they do have a lot of footers. Um, so I tried analyzing both the coasters, and we're going to go over that in just a bit. Um, I'm going to analyze the construction site as a whole. So the construction site seems to take up um, kind of like alongside their wooden coaster and alongside or if not entirely um, their um, old loggers jam ride I believe it's called correct me down below if I got that wrong it seems to take up that and it also may take up the ripcord um, attraction I guess that's an upcharge attraction I don't know if it'll take it up or just work around it or alongside it I can't tell yet so cor correct me down below with any information I may be getting wrong guys um, I'm trying to cover as much construction projects as possible now, as requested by you guys, and I want to diversify, you know, outside of Canada's wonderland. Um, so I will always be open to feedback and any information that I may get wrong, as these are not my home parks. Um, but yes, there were a couple coasters that came to mind, so um, we're going to go over those in just a second. But um, I was starting to think RMC Raptor, but then, you know, the construction site is way too long for that, and it's a family-friendly park. So I then started to think, why not a GCI family coaster? And this is where it plays back to the whole 197. So there's two coasters that really do come to mind if we are thinking that the 197 means 197 footers. So a GCI would have and could have 197 footers on it. Um, and also um, it would fit well in this park. GCIs are, are high um, thrill attractions. They can also be great family coasters, um, and you can do a lot with them. And if Kennywood's looking to have a coaster that is fairly cheap, yet high thrill and family coaster mixed together, this would be the perfect choice for this park. Um, and I would love to see what Kennywood would do with a GCI. I don't know if you guys would, but I think that a GCI would be phenomenal in any family park, and they are extremely underrated. Um, I think back to Mystic Timbers, you know, a lot of people when they first announced it were like, oh, they could have gotten something bigger or better. And then it ended up being a phenomenal coaster. That's not a family coaster, though. That's a high thrill attraction. But then you can look at like Wickerman, too. A lot of people thought that was going to be a family coaster, but we are hearing reports that it's high thrill as well. But GCI can build family coasters, and I do think that's a great option. Now, here's another one. This one does have a lot of footers in itself as well, and it could be part of that whole concept that is also the most likely coaster choice um, in the coaster community. A lot of people think this is what's going to Kennywood. I just think a GCI would fit the park slightly better, but I would not be surprised if a steeplechase was the chosen attraction for Kennywood. 
What do you guys think? Do you guys think a GCI wooden coaster is coming to Kennywood or do you think a steeplechase is coming to Kennywood? Comment down below what you guys think or if you think it's something completely different, I wanna hear from you as I continue to report on construction. Um, I'm gonna link down below. The pictures are from Kennywood Connection on Twitter and um, Facebook. So um, go check them out. They have really high def pictures of the construction site. Um, definitely check them out. Again, the link will be down below. Thanks for letting me use your pictures. And anyone else from any park, if you have pictures of construction that you want me to use in my videos, please send them to me. I am in dire need of construction pictures as I wanna cover as many projects as possible and I wanna analyze the projects in depth. I like putting a lot of thought into my updates. A lot of people think that maybe I don't put a lot of thought on them, but I like to put like spend about one to two days analyzing you know, the park itself and what they could possibly be seeing. Um, if there is another coaster model that you think might be a better fit for this park, please comment it down below. I would like to analyze that um, as well. And maybe in my next construction update for Kennywood, I will um, let you guys know what I feel about that coaster. But for now, I really do think it is between a GCI wooden coaster and a steeple chase. Um, it may even be a smaller family coaster. Maybe mock is another option as well, a family mock coaster. Who knows? Um, Kennywood does seem like a smaller park, but it looks like it's up for an expansion, and that seems really excited for any exciting for anyone that this may be their home park. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like, comment down below what your thoughts are, um, and subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for anyone that may be in the Kennywood area. Anyways, guys, thanks again. Have a great one. Bye.